Once Piedmont Airlines was purchased by U.S. Airways back in the late 80s, this building eventually ended up being vacant. The maintenance operation was pulled out of here by U.S. Air and moved. That company had 400 employees that worked here. And those 400 employees that now were out of work or underemployed, some of them had even taken jobs commuting. We felt like we had a facility, we felt like we had the expertise, and certainly the workforce with the experience we needed was available. So the four of us put our heads together and decided it's time for us to open a maintenance repair and overhaul facility. So that's how this current project got started. They came to the SBTDC with a fairly specific need. Through the attorney, they were able to put together the, the writing part of a business plan. I mean, it wasn't complete, but it was embryonic and it was functional. What they didn't have was how to put together a financial package that had to be fairly complicated. So my role was essentially take the figures they had, take the assumptions they had, and work them out into both cash flow, profit and loss, balance sheet projections going out for several years, and then be ready to take those with them to the different parties with whom they wanted to partner. Barry had a, had a real unique way of putting it down plainly and simply and taking the pieces that were there and laying them out in a sequence that the governmental agencies uh, were able to understand and correlate with and basically to identify and understand exactly what we were going to do in their terms. When we started, we had eight people up in a room at the Winston-Salem Terminal. Today, uh, in 2015, I'm very happy to tell you that we've got 385 full-time employees. We've got 15 part-time employees, and then we've probably got another 50 contractors. From an economic standpoint, I think it's somewhere in the neighborhood, according to some of the analysis we've seen, it's probably somewhere in the neighborhood of 30 to $40 million a year for this community. The surprising thing to me was the quality of work that you get out of the SBTDC. From day one, I was absolutely floored at the experience and the expertise and the level of knowledge that the North Carolina Small Business Technology Development Center has available. The support from the SBTDC has been unwavering. He, he touched on it. One of the main main things is that, that they have very intensive follow-up, unexpectedly. They are very attentive, they're genuinely interested. I think they're a, a group of very dedicated people that are serious about what they do. So for people to, to, to be with you from the start and then to come back and follow up and still remain supportive and involved, is really a, a rare thing in today's world. So we are so appreciative of them being there and continuing to be there. Absolutely.